it might look like toddlers learning how to walk. But even professional footballers had to start somewhere. Unlike the FIFA World Cup, which demands excellent skills from its players, this robot soccer match is rather a competition of intelligence. To build such a robot that can move and feel requires the installation of many sensors to enable them to tell which direction the football comes in, where the goal is located, its position on the field, as well as to recognize its own team and the rival team. Apart from the five-on-five -five robot soccer game, rescue robots also stole the show. It allows us to explore an unknown area. Our robot is equipped with a laser radar, which can draw up a map of the site. And here is a camera. We have also equipped the vehicle with a thermal imager, which can detect signs of life. A total of 555 teams competed in this year's championships, and it's never too early to join in. Robotics enthusiasts, as young as kindergarten kids, were also on the players list. We want our children to see and learn about robots at a younger age so that they can understand the makeup of robots, learn about the future of them and how to work to solve problems. Founded in 1996, RoboCup is an international research and education initiative that looks at artificial intelligence and its utility for future applications. The RoboCup China Open, in its 20th edition this year, is one of the most important contests of its kind. Winners of the contest will be representing China in this year's RoboCup international competition. Omar Khan, CGTN.